everyone, Katie Storm here alongside Gopher National Champion Kelly Panic. And Kelly, the Gopher women's program continues to be one of the most talented in the country. We frequently hear names like Grace Sumwinkle and Taylor Heisey, but one of the most underrated is senior captain Abby Barine. What does she do for this team that's so special? She does it all. She does the, the dirty work sometimes when it needs to get done. She'll score the big goal. She'll be right there putting her body on the line, making sure that, you know, whatever her team needs, she's there to do. Let's learn a little bit more about Abby Burine, a five-time letter winner for Hill Murray High School. She made it to five straight Minnesota State Class AA tournaments with the Pioneers. She has nine goals in her senior season this year in 15 games. That's the seventh best goals per game rate in the entire conference. A big ability she has is just to create offense. Let's take a look at some of those plays. Yep, and we'll start here right off the bat. Um, so here she is on the wall. Um, she recognizes that her linemate needs a little bit of help and what you'll see as this clip progresses is she's going to take a look over her shoulder and oftentimes you know when you get along the wall it's hard to get off the wall it's hard to find that space but when you can do it before a defender closes in on that space it allows that play to progress a lot easier so that's exactly what she does she finds that pocket where her linemate Taylor Heisey is going into it and she just busts to the net and I'll write here it's really easy for a player you know, to stay below the goal line, wait for the pass. Um, her linemate's going to end up getting it right here. But what she does, you can see in the bottom of the screen, is she's going to work her way up into the net front. And when she gets there, she's not just, you know, wait, waiting for the shot to happen. She's actually bracing for that. Um, a lot of times you're going to get that cross check to the back. You're going to get that, you know, stick interaction from the de defensive player. And she's ready for it, ready for that shot to come through. And although she doesn't score it, she's a big reason of why that goal happens. So this next one, we'll just pause it so we can find her here. She's playing wing on this shift. And you'll kind of see a progression happen twice where she's mirroring this puck. This isn't her responsibility. Her responsibility is this higher player in the zone. And she's aware of that. She's not chasing out wide. She's just going to mirror this puck. She's going to communicate with her teammates right here to pass off. Who do they have? And then she recovers to the net in case anything goes there. Now the same exact play happens. This time she's reading. You can see her eyes. She's reading that this player wants to make that pass. And what you'll see is just a really smart, active stick. And then she's got the legs to work towards the net. And she's going to win that puck battle. And as she does that, she gets right there. She knows pressure is coming. She knows you know, there's going to be two, three players coming at her and the goalie. It's really easy for players to instead take this puck around the net. But what she does is she takes it right to that blue paint, ends up I think, going off the post and off defender's back. But she's willing to get to that blue area, make the strong play, and uh, take it to the net for a goal. And basically the exact same you know, similar image. She gets on a little breakaway chance here. She's just willing to go through the goalie, essentially, to, to make a goal happen. She feels a little shaken up, but it's always a little easier getting up off the ice after you score a goal. Locating our feature here, uh, she's actually down at the goal line here, and you're going to see um, it's kind of where she plants herself in these next few clips. You know, Katie mentioned four power play goals already this season, and a lot of them happen like this. This is a play that they like to run. Um, and again, you'll see her down here waiting for that puck to come as Taylor is going to come across the seam here. Um, and she just has the presence of mind knowing who she's playing with, knowing that that puck's going to get to her stick. And then as she gets there, what I really like and what I've always been taught is when you stay above that goal line, you become a lot more of a scoring threat. Whereas if you stay below the goal line, you know, the, the defensive team, they know you're not going to shoot. But right there, she gets above the goal line, she just picks her corner for an easy, easy goal for her, not for, not for everyone. Basically, exact similar play. Again, she's sitting on that back door, ready to play. This one's a five on three, so there's a little bit more space and time for the Gophers to work with. But again, she knows what her lineman likes to do, cutting across that seam, and she's ready. And right here, when she gets this puck, it's a fired pass across the seam, right through that seam. Really nice pass. She's not just going to whack at it, hope it goes in. She's going to actually take her time, again, pick her corner with another nice upper corner goal. And just a little bit of you know, her understanding where she should be and how to put the puck in the net. Yeah, and that's so much of it, right? Having that hockey IQ. She's like one step ahead all the time, and she definitely has shown it already in her career with the Gophers, especially in this senior season. Well, of course, the Gophers coming off of a huge sweep over the Mankato Mavericks last weekend. They're looking for another big weekend ahead as they open up a home-and-home -home series with the St. Cloud State Huskies this Friday and Saturday.